tape for this rematch of the 2016 Fight of the Year. Michael Duke from the Netherlands, Daniel Alunga fighting out of Germany, and it's Alunga with a five-inch reach advantage. With professional experience, it's Alunga that has the edge with 71 professional fights to the 51 of Duke. Both guys with very good KO ratios, but you gotta look at Alunga's KO ratio of 77%. All right, Joe, give us your keys to glory. Well, for its due, no surprises to bring the fight and land that power that he has, especially in his right hand, where Aluka said he's going to keep technical, which I think is a good strategy for him, and he needs to use his footwork to avoid that forward pressure and use his counter strikes. We are once again scheduled for three three-minute rounds in glory's light heavyweight division. Fighting out of the black corner, he is a two-time world Muay Thai champion and brings with him a professional record of 57 wins with 14 losses and 44 knockouts. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, 1.91 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at an even 208 pounds, 94.4 kilos. Fighting out of Germany by way of the Congo, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Daniel Dibuba Ilunga. His opponent fighting out of the white corner won the Glory 45 Contender Tournament with two knockouts in one night in Amsterdam. His record stands at 42 wins with eight losses, 19 of those wins coming by knockout. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, 1.91 meters, and he too weighed in at fight time at an even 208 pounds, 94.4 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of the Netherlands, introducing Dan Michael, the Dream Crusher, dude! And here now is your referee, John Axwood. Okay, guys, you know the rules. Break is break, stop is stop. Questions? Okay. Alunga vows not to get into a war this time. He's going to play it safe, going to play it smart. We'll see if he can. Duke will try and make that impossible. Fight. The final fight in the trilogy. Duke in the white gloves, Alunga wearing black. Duke's got to have a lot of confidence coming in, winning a contender's tournament. Getting two knockouts in the first round. Two spectacular knockouts, and he suffered a broken nose as well. That right hand kind of buckled Alunga back a little bit. Duke trying to use some feints, get Alunga to bite. Duke, you can tell, just is chomping at the bit to let his hands go. Yeah, he's just waiting. No one will claim that Duke is the best fighter in glory, but most everyone agrees he's the most exciting fighter in glory. What I like Alunga's doing is he's using that jab. And then he mixes his low kick off of it. Overhand right from Alunga. Oh, that one caught Duke flush. Yeah, that was a hard right hand from Alunga. A good knee to follow it up. Good ring control from Alunga. Keeping Duke against the ropes. Alunga's fighting smart so far. Yes, he's keeping to what he, he plans. Duke hasn't got him into that war-like mentality yet. It's just one punch away from happening, though. You don't see a lot of kicks step back, step back. from Michael Duke. Nope, he's just waiting to set up that right hand. He told us he hurt his leg many years ago. He used to kick a lot more. Then he started relying on his hands. And it's worked out for him. This technical approach from Maluga is looking really good. 
sticking behind his jab, following with his right hand and his combinations. Left hand right on the temple of Duke. Good counter punch. Good strike selection from from Alunda, but he had a left hook from Duke. Ten seconds to go. A strong opening round for Daniel Alunga, who refused to be faded in or lured in to Dutes' Rock'em Sock'em stop. So far, a good round for Daniel Alunga, really showcasing good strike selection, staying patient, staying behind his jab. Michael Duke trying to land the power shot, not being very successful. Yet he did land a few right hands and left hooks, but he needs to put more output in this next round. Alunga needs to keep this pace, keep mixing up his strikes. There's Sonori James, famous DJ here in Holland. Front row seats, a lot of celebrities from this country in the building tonight. There's two glory celebrities, two champions, Robin Van Roosmalen on the left, and of course Myrtle Grunhart on the right. Myrtle will be defending his title at Glory 50 right. in Chicago, February 16th. That's the next time that you will see Glory kickboxing. The back. Just two fights to go in 2017, the end of this one, and Rico and Jamal, which is next. Round one, all five judges give it to Alunga. Footwork and distance control from Alunga. Moving, angling. Duke needs to get Alunga against the ropes. That's going to be his best strategy. Breaks the back. Duke going to the body a little more, too. Alunga. Duke even turns southpaw for a quick second. They didn't do anything from the stance, but maybe trying to confuse a little bit. I'm surprised that Duke's not trying to walk a little bit down a little bit more. Well, I'm surprised, but Alunga's just doing a good job at shutting down that power. He's sticking his jab, so this way Duke can't open up and throw his power punches. And he's angling, he's moving his feet, but whoa! He caught him with a right hand, and Alunga backs up to the ropes. And the corner of Duke is like, what are you doing, man? Crush him! Yeah, not sure why he stopped punching. Maybe he thought there was a foul, showing good respect. That was a the shot back. that hurt Alunga. He went back to the ropes and almost didn't know where he was, put his hands down, and Duke didn't close in. Yeah, Breaks the Duke's back. corner is yelling at him. Melvin Manhoff is standing up in the corner screaming. There is Melvin in the corner of Michael Duke. <laughs> So a better second round for Michael Duke. Is he winning it though, Joe? No, I still don't think he's winning. Duke still needs to come forward and start pressing. But definitely a better round. He's starting to find a hope for that power. A grazing shot to the forehead by Michael Duke. Lunga recovered well from that earlier trouble he seemed to be in here in round two. And one of his best strikes are his knees. He's been training with his, uh, his training partner, Remy Bonyaski, who's known for his flying knee. Known as the flying gentleman. Good uppercut from Duke. But Aluga answers back with a right hand and then a stiff jab. Yeah, that jab's landing and that right knee to fall over. Beautiful. Whoa, and wobbly legs is Aluga. He might go down here at the end of round two. Two times Aluga was in trouble in that round. Yeah, it was very, that's, that power is starting to land now. Lucas' chin looks a little suspect. And the 
corner of Michael Duke, really letting him hear it. You can see the right hand slipped inside and caught him. Yeah, that tried to get inside, landed the left hook. That was the shot, and you can see Aluga backed him to the ropes. Just off, and that's the shot right there. Duke, right off the rope, perfectly timed. He timed the bounce off the rope, then he makes that left hook, but there's Melvin yelling, wondering why he's stopping. Will the judges, though, give Duke credit for the damage inflicted in that round? Well, we're gonna have to we'll find out very shortly, but those were the most damaging shots of the round. And if we're going by the score, we're looking at cumulative damage. Hey. Round five, three five, scheduled, eight, four, three. Aluga won the first round, according to all five judges. Let's see what they say about round two. Three give it to Duke, two to Aluga. So it's still anybody's right here, Joe. Yeah, but it's going to have to be Duke continue to continually coming forward. He's got to put combinations together. Let's see if Aluga can stick behind that jab. Great, step back. Dude's corner wants him to push the pace. This is starting to look a little bit better at their last fight. Slugging on the inside. The thing about Michael Dude is he doesn't mind getting knocked down. He's been knocked down almost as many times as he's knocked someone else down. He risks all to win all. What do you make of this game plan, or excuse me, Aluga's game plan so far? The first two rounds, it was going really well. He's not doing it too much in this round, but he had a hard left hook on the exit. Rick, step back. You lose your focus for one second against Michael Duke. And yes. it will indeed be a dream push. Yeah. Aluga backed up with his hands down. Duke capitalized on that. Another right hand there for Duke. The left hook, and Aluga still looks a little wobbly to me. Yeah, he's, his, his legs don't seem really stable, but he's still finding the, the energy to throw those knees. There's a knee right into the solar plexus for Michael Duke. Things getting a little sloppy in there, and that means a KO could be coming. They're both capable of doing it. We had five knockdowns in their first or their second encounter last December. Ooh, and that right hand got Duke backpedaling. Yeah, they're exchanging good power combinations. Oh, right hand, and Duke goes down and snaps on the canvas. Let's see if he gets up. the chin of Duke came down right on that shot, perfectly timed, drew him in, threw that overhand, got the knockout. And a good sign of sportsmanship by Aluga to go over and help Duke back to his feet. These two men will be forever linked in this trilogy, and Aluga wins it two fights to one with an impressive, emphatic knockout here in Rotterdam. You just have to love that sportsmanship between the two. They were talking and joking around the hotel all week, never know, we might see number four. We'll make things official in a moment here from the sold out of Hoy Arena. Well, we figured it would end in a knockout one way or the other, and we were right. Yeah, and the first round was good on Aluga trying to set it up, but finally in that third round, he just found that overhand right, just drawing in, clip Duke right on the chin. Good night, Michael Duke. So the Dream Crusher got crushed by a right hand 
from the Congo warrior Daniel Alunga, who needed this win in the worst way. Yeah, and it was Duke really focusing on his punches. Not many kicks or knees from him, but Alunga did a good job of mixing his strikes. He landed some good knees and some good kicks as well. Michael Duke really focusing on the head shots, a few body shots, and it was Alunga really focusing on the kicks and the knees. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. Our referee, John Axwood, has called an end to this contest with an official time of two minutes, 26 seconds of that third and final round, ruled a technical knockout. For your winner, Daniel Ilunga. Wait to see him back in action inside a glory 